In this video, we'll explore the latest routing improvements in Altium Designer 25 that streamline your PCB design process. Let's get started. First, I'll demonstrate an improved match length rule with support of dynamic phase matching check for differential pairs. When routing high-speed differential pairs, it's crucial to control the total mismatch between tracks and pairs, which is known as a static phase. But it is also important to control the scatter between two tracks in areas of bends or fanouts to ensure that discrepancies are compensated within the specified lengths, which is known as a dynamic phase. For example, this pair had no static mismatch because the track lengths were the same. However, dynamic phase compensation was required, which resulted in the bumps observed right after the bends. Let's configure a rule to include the dynamic phase check. This check is available in both the Constraint Manager and the Default Rules Editor. The dynamic tolerance is the value of the difference between the tracks, which will trigger a violation if this mismatch is not compensated within the required distance. Let's proceed with routing. The path of the pair is arranged so that the resulting length of the tracks will be equal. But due to the bends and the long distance between them, the path tracks will require dynamic phase compensation. Right after the routing is completed, the violation appears both as a pattern in the PCB editor and as a separate string in the PCB rules and violations panel with the violation description. The violation can be resolved in one of two ways. The first option is to use manual interactive tuning tools. The second option is to apply an automatic tuning mechanism, which now supports static and dynamic phase matching. Once the tuning process is complete, it becomes clear that the violation pattern has been eliminated. The tracks are matched and an additional design rule check shows no violation. The differential pair is routed correctly and is able to produce the desired high-speed performance. Next, Altium Designer 25 features a routing topology rule specifically designed to ensure the correct routing order for complex connections. This rule, however, has not previously been subject to a design rule check. The task at hand is to implement support for this rule to ensure it can be effectively controlled. To activate this rule, it is necessary to create a custom topology within the Constraint Manager. By examining the PCB, we observe that the current routing order is from CN1 to DS3 to DS2 to DS1. We'll navigate to the Constraint Manager and select the Electrical tab. From there, we'll configure a custom topology for this XNet, changing the order to CN1 to DS1, to DS2, to DS3. This intentional alteration ensures that the current routing becomes incorrect, triggering an error. Upon conducting a quick design rule check, a violation error will appear, indicating the correct signal path and highlighting the error in the messages panel. This demonstrates the functionality and importance of the routing topology rule in maintaining proper routing order for complex connections. Moving on to the routing neck down feature. When routing in dense areas, it's easy to end up with necks that violate design rules. With the new Obey Rules option, Altium Designer automatically removes necks below a specified width in polygon pores, ensuring your design always adheres to width constraints. Next, we have auto shrinking. Routing in tight spaces can be challenging, especially when you need to maintain trace width while working around obstacles. The auto shrinking feature automatically reduces the trace width as you route through narrow areas, allowing you to complete dense layouts more efficiently without manual adjustments. Finally, Altium Designer introduces support for true donut pad shapes. Donut shaped pads provide more flexibility for specialized components, improving solderability and manufacturability. Whether you're working with power electronics or custom connectors, this feature helps ensure your pads meet the mechanical and electrical needs of your design. To recap, these new routing improvements help you route faster and more accurately while ensuring your designs meet critical performance and manufacturing requirements.